For our group project, we chose the topic of communications director. And with this topic, we'll be looking at the benefits, desirability, and duties of the position along with the related information. And my name is Amy Whitman. I'm Courtney Carson. I'm Laura Hoffman. I'm Taylor Morgan. And I'm Kelly Schumacher. First, we'll start off with a basic definition of a communications director. A communications director can be defined as a position in both the private and public sectors. A communications director is responsible for managing and directing an organization's internal and external communications. And now we're going to talk about the job description of a communications director. Communications directors would direct and oversee communication programs that effectively describe and promote the organization and its products. They may conduct market or public opinion research to assess program outcomes. An example would be using a site like SurveyMonkey to collect data based on different company events and maybe change them in the future based on results. They would also suggest promotional campaign ideas in various types of media as well as council top management on effective communication strategies. This position usually requires a bachelor's degree with at least 10 years of experience in the field. Sometimes there are exceptions. Um, the person would need to be familiar with a variety of the field's concepts, practices, and procedures. They would rely on extensive experience and judgment to plan and accomplish company goals. They lead and direct the work of others. Um, a wide degree of creativity is expected, and they typically report to top management. And here we have listed some similar jobs and titles. Um, as you can see, there's director of communications, marketing communication director, accounting director, marketing director, operations director, sales director, program director, engineering director, all are interchangeable and are pretty much similar in meaning. Salary, the median expected salary for a typical communications director in the United States is about $123,422. And this basic market pricing report was prepared using the certified compensation professionals analysis of survey data collected from thousands of HR departments at employers of all sizes, industries, and geographies by salary.com. Right. And now I'm going to share a personal example. Um, I work, my current internship, I work for Ashley Jarrett. She's the communications director of Iowa Finance Authority, which is located in downtown Des Moines. Um, Ashley has almost five years of experience. She was an Iowa State graduate. Um, she was a journalism major. She has also obtained her certified public manager of public administration from Drake. And currently, she's working on earning her master's of public administration from Drake. And that is one of the benefits of working for a state government agency. Um, working for Iowa Finance Authority, they do pay for her master's degree. And now I'll share a few um, tasks that I do working as a communications intern, which are supervised by Ashley, and they're basically all assisting her with tasks that she's expected to complete as a communications director. Um, the first one is assisting all company programs with communication needs. And, yeah. and here's just a link of all the different programs that Iowa Finance Authority has. There are housing, single family programs, and if you scroll down, you can see all of them listed more specifically. And I also create, manage, and update web content via SiteBiz. And SiteBiz is just a web content management site. So. Basically what you do is you can just upload documents in the file library and then link them on the page builder to the main pages on the website. And then also help compose IFA FYI, which is the 
company's monthly electronic newsletter. And here they are, all the recent issues and past issues listed on the website. Here was January 2012 issue. And it's just basically updates and current information for all the different um, company divisions. It's interactive, you can register for different events. And then communicate with government agency contacts, generate ideas and prepare marketing materials, manage social media for the company on Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, and other social media sites. Um, prepare a mass email about blasts via constant contact. And here's constant contact. You can log in and look at one. This does take up a good chunk of her time. Um, here are all the past issues listed that she's created, and this has pretty much been just within the past month or so. And here's a copy of Homelessness News. And then also write press releases for specific branches within the company. And here on the website, all the current press releases are uploaded. You can easily access them. We held a press conference recently with Terry Brandstad, and this was a press release that I helped her write, and then we upload them and release them to the press to get media attention. And then lastly, the most recent project we've been working on is the Meaning of Home Ownership Contest. Here's a look at that. It's for all lenders and realtors in the state of Iowa. Um, um, our company is partnering with the Iowa Association of Realtors um, during Home Ownership Month, which is in June, um, asking lenders and realtors to ask their clients what home ownership truly means to them, preferably in one word, um, whether it's security or freedom, backyard barbecues or a driveway. Um, they're trying to see why home ownership is important to Iowa. You can interact through viewing contest instructions and a few different things on the website. Um, and finally, this is the mission statement of the Iowa Finance Authority. They work to finance, administer, advance, and preserve affordable housing and to promote community and economic development for Iowans. I have learned a lot working for Ashley, and I hope to pursue her career or something similar. There are several career fields that have communication directors involved one way or another, whether you are directly the communication director or you work for a communication director. There are a few careers that are based on it. Advertising. Some people say that if you don't have good oral or written skills, you won't be able to make it in this field. Communication education. This involves working as a high school speech teacher all the way to teaching communications at the university level to being the drama director for a high school or even a Broadway. Electronic media, radio, televising, broadcasting can be seen as a glamour job because of the attention that comes with it, but it involves everything from being a talk show host to casting director. Journalism, this includes printing or electronic journalism, which involves gathering information and being able to give it to the public through writing, speaking, visual, or electronic means. Some of these careers are also talk show host to editor of a newspaper. A public relations also means that you are managing the image of a certain organization or an individual that you are working for. You can also be the news writer to being a fundraiser manager for a certain company. Um, also working for theater, performing arts, and dramatic arts. This is considered one of the glamour jobs also. If you want to work in this field, you can be a model which does not do much communication besides in the public eye in interviews, all the way to being a costume director to a performing arts. Um, 
we did a comparison of two different communications director positions within different companies just to see how these positions may differ in different industries. So the two industries that I looked into were YouTube and The Gap, Inc. So in order to compare the entertainment industry with the apparel industry. Under YouTube's different um, descriptions that they were looking for, it said they're looking for quick-witted, entrepreneurial, and intellectual intellectually curious people. They should be able to combine creativity with organizational skills and an enthusiastic team player who isn't afraid to try take risks or try out new ways of doing things. The Gap was looking for a team who works together to create and influence the culture of the division, someone who's responsible for developing and driving global, creative, and effective communications, and someone who can also help to build a positive reputation for the company. With looking at the similarities and responsibilities, there were quite a few that were interchangeable between the two, such as internal and external communication. It came up a lot how it was important to both communicate well internally within the company and then externally as well with different clients. It was important to develop relationships with the senior management team and then also to represent the company in a productive and appropriate manner. Some similarities in the qualifications were a four-year college degree and then at least eight years experience in the area such as communications or public relations and then also the ability to multitask and make sure that they could accomplish tasks quickly. Some of the differences that were listed in each position were that YouTube over, overall focused more on personality characteristics. They are looking more for the type of person versus how GAP looked for how they worked within the group in strategic partnerships. So with the creating these close relationships for YouTube and then the GAP was looking for more communication on a global perspective. Okay, and communications director, um, I looked at the importance of the position within the company. Um, but internally and externally, um, because some companies do combine the position and some have a separate internal and external communications director, so it just depends. Um, communica communications directors, just a couple things that they um, need to have in some roles that they play. Um, they need to understand business strategy, obstacles to achieving the, um, those strategies, develop communication solutions to the business's problems. Um, some roles, like I said, are getting the right messages to the right people at the right time, using the right channels, channels for those messages, um, keeping track of communication traffic within the organization, diagnosing problems and providing solutions, making the connections between communication strategy and business results, and then understanding the inter internal culture and adapting communications to match it. Um, activity grid, I received some of this information from Making the Connections, um, it's, a, it's a textbook, um, and I wasn't able to get the picture, but communications directors work from operating to advising and then strategic to tactical. Um, and just kind of an example of that, um, providing counsel as far as advising, um, a communications manager or director often serves as an advisor to company leaders. Um, they suggest what information should be presented to employees, the methods in which they should be delivered, and the timing for those um, for that information to be released. Um, also, with uh, then on the planning stage, so more of the operating stage, um, a communications director should know how to prepare a strategic communication plan for the company. Um, this plan should include goals for the company's communications, methods um, the company will use, and then time frame in which steps will be executed. The plan should also consist with the company's mission, vision, values, and external messages to its customers. And I'm just going to touch a little bit more on how important the communication director is. Um, the managers may carry out a number of different roles and may vary on the organization in which they are working for. Um, they serve as the foundation for all types of healthy workplace practices. They're using a bottom-up communication method um, and as well as using the top-down communication method. For the bottom-up communication, they're providing information about employee needs, values, and perceptions, and opinions. This helps organizations select and tailor their programs and policies to meet specific needs of their employees. Using the top-down, um, it can increase utilization of specific work workplace programs by making employees aware of their availability, clearly explaining how to access and use the services, 
and demonstrating that management supports and values um, of the program. They also supervise public relations staff. They cre create communication strategies and also serve as the key spokesman and media contact for the organization. Um, some examples of manager roles and duties, they design um, communication structures, define communication objectives, monitor and manage all communication throughout the company, organize crisis communications if and when necessary, and organize relevant staff training, and the tasks that they may perform, weekly email reports, activity information in the current week, plans for the following week, and any extra information that the group may need to know. And to end the importance of it, um, the top five communication skills for a communication director would be active listening, building relationships based on trust and respect, setting clear priorities, enabling collaboration, and conveying the organization's vision. And then, um, so more on internal communications director. Um, like I said, we're gonna look at the kind of internal versus external. Some companies, like larger companies, will combine the two, um, but there are separate um, kind of entities to both. So internal communications professionals help companies get their message out to employees and keep company employees engaged in um, the company's initiatives. Uh, also, internal communication directors' key audience are their employees. They're doing a lot of things within the company structure. Um, external communications director, um, they're responsible for the consumer-facing content that an organiza organization puts out. And then they also help to ensure brand image and the message, um, which it, like, should be a consistent and timely and relevant manner. Um, they also manage external communications output. So they work with media outlets to publish timely company information, such as press releases, brochures, and other materials, which Haley kind of um, touched on with her experience. Um, they ensure communication strategy is consistent and reflects the organization's strategic vision, kind of like I've already said. Um, implement social media strategies, grow online supporter base and traffic. So they're dealing more with um, the media rather than employees directly, which is different from internal. And then um, with the next slide, um, I spoke with a family friend, um, Jessica Auden, who works for CSG International in Denver, Colorado. It's a tech company. Um, and she was just giving me some information on things that are going on within her office at the moment and with as she works under her um, communications director right now um, her boss is in charge of completely coming up with their new brand image and implementing that so I know that's a pretty big deal so that first one is rebranding which means company messaging logo website company goals um, collateral development so marketing tools used externally such as data sheets white papers press releases for announcements investor focused materials and various marketing campaigns um, events which is also externally so coordinated and planning appearance appearances at trade shows um, or externally outside public facing events, planning internally focused, and then um, employee events around the globe. So that, that is where um, internal and external would be combined in such areas events. Um, research, they research new tools and solutions that will assist in marketing um, and help those efforts. Um, and then internal email campaigns, pro projects distributed internally to our employees discussing product solution lines and who are they improving business for. So they are definitely, um, you know, making their value known to the company in that sense. So, yeah. And that's, that's it for our pro, uh, presentation, I should say. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave any comments on Blackboard. And thank you for listening. Yes.